Will you bow with me in prayer? Lord, we thank you for another new morning, another new day to honor and glorify you, another new day to serve you, another new day to be your light into the world. Lord, give us opportunities today to be your hands and feet within the world. Give us opportunities today to reach out, to calm nerves, to provide your comfort. Lord, help us as we watch the news or talk to people or otherwise interact in ways that remind us of how different things are. Lord, let us always remember that you are the same yesterday, today, and forever. And Lord, that that sameness that you are is good. It is great. It is holy. It is righteous. It is above all that we can ask or imagine. Lord, let us remember that you are beyond and yet you are near. And we thank you for both of those. In Jesus' name, amen. Lord, today I thank you for all the ways the gospel is spreading throughout this world that we never would have imagined 50 years ago or 100 years ago or 1,000 years ago. I thank you for all the work that's going into spreading your word for those missionaries who are still in the field, who are risking their life in places that have little medical care in order to spread your word. Lord, I also pray for those missionaries who, for various reasons, will be coming home. We pray for their ministry here in the U.S. or in whatever country that they might call home. I pray... Lord, for their mind and their heart as they have a split focus, a focus on people that they're physically with and a focus on loved ones far away. Lord, I pray that you would keep lines of communication open so they can continue to do ministry even from afar with those that they've built such relationships with. I heard today that Papua New Guinea confirmed its first case. Lord, we know missionaries there. We know organizations are working to translate your word for people who have never heard it before. I pray, Lord, for that work. I pray for these people who, for the first time in their lives, will be able to experience a tragedy with your help those who have committed their lives to you, who now have the power of the Holy Spirit inside them to minister to their loved ones who are struggling right now. Lord, we thank you for that work. We thank you for the work on the home front, churches and church planters who are continuing to share your word to do good to one another and to worship you. (coughs) Help us each day to do that very thing to whomever we are able. Let us give all that we have for you. In Jesus' name, amen. I wanted to come out and say one more prayer tonight because I just got word that several of my cousin's friends are in ICU right now in Richmond, which coincidentally is the same area where one of our parishioners from Illinois has a son who's an emergency room physician. Will you bow with me in prayer? Lord, I ask your presence in the hospital in Richmond, in the homes of those who are closely connected to these folks who 
are struggling for life right now. Lord, we pray that you would bring about healing, that you would restore them to good health. Lord, give peace and comfort to that church. Lord, we pray that you would strengthen their hearts. Lord, allow them to support those families. And Lord, we ask that you would make your presence felt among the nurses, the techs, the chaplains of that hospital, or those hospitals. Lord, allow them to continue to use the gifts you've given. Allow them to trust in you. And Lord, allow them to know the appreciation that even those of us across the country can have for them and the thanks we can offer to you for every minute decision along each of their lives that have led them to this moment. Lord, we thank you that you've orchestrated our lives the same way. All of our lives have been leading up to today, and today will lead up till tomorrow, and on, and on, and on. And Lord, we thank you that you've had us in your hands this whole time. We thank you, Lord, for your provision, your protection. We thank you for the times when you've given us a feeling that we ought to read a certain thing or do a certain thing, and as it turns out, it prepares us for something else that you've called us to do. And when we do that thing, we feel a call to some other thing. And Lord, each step along the way, you've been equipping us, you've been gifting us, you've been allowing us to take one step at a time towards your will. Lord, help us to keep walking in your will. Keep walking in your light. Keep walking in step with your spirit. Lord, give us peace tonight. Give us good rest. Give us strength for tomorrow. And Lord, allow us to live every moment dedicated to you. In Jesus' name. Amen.